everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Carly. And I'm Britta. And if you like this video, please subscribe before you leave and give it a thumbs up. Today we're going to be doing our drugstore number ones video. We saw this on View Diction's channel. We'll link hers down below. But basically we're going to go through all like the top or at least like most widely known mm -hmm. um, drugstore brands and picking our favorite product from each brand. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up we'll do Physician's Formula. Um, and we did all the same brands that Jen did except for she did Milani. And we don't really use a lot of Milani mm -hmm. products. We used to, but we just didn't. We didn't think it was, a, like, we just don't use it anymore. Yeah, we don't really use so, it as often, mm -hmm. and so we decided to include ColourPop because even though they're not found, well, you can find them at Ulta, but um, they're at the same price range as a mm -hmm. lot of these products, and we use a lot of ColourPop products every day, so we thought it would be more fitting for our channel. So anyways, we'll start with Physician's Formula. Uh, we both have the same one. The Healthy Foundation. This was my favorite foundation of 2018, if you watched our mm -hmm. Best of Beauty. I still wear this all the time. I think it's so beautiful. It's the most skin-like foundation I think I own. Me too. I never wear foundation anymore. I prefer, like, a light BB cream or tinted moisturizer. But whenever I do mm -hmm. wear a foundation, it's always this one. Because it's so beautiful. It doesn't mm -hmm. settle into your fine lines. It just gives your skin, like, a nice, healthy glow. I'm wearing it today. Did you wear it? No, because I need to pick up a new one. Mine just had a fun scent and I'm like okay I need yeah I one. definitely need a new one as well because this does have SPF 20 that's in what it. I was thinking too um, in the expiration yeah mine's probably expired but I mm -hmm. wanted to use it to show you guys but it's on my skin I think it's really glowy and beautiful healthy it just makes your skin yeah look healthy. without being too glowy yeah it just looks very natural and it's very buildable and the applicator we can show them because it's a little different yeah I don't love the applicator um, but I don't mind it actually but it's nice it's this doe foot so it's kind of a little unsanitary but I do like how you can just do like literally two stripes if you just want a little yeah. bit of coverage and if you want more you just apply more like it's very it's easier to start small than I think like a pump would be. Yeah, that's true. Um and I think I've told the story before but the first time I ever wore this we were at an event and this woman like stopped me to ask me what foundation I was wearing and so that's when I knew I was like this mm -hmm. looks good on my skin yeah. and I love it we're in the shade LN3 mm -hmm. but I will say this is more of a winter shade like it's a little light a little bit but it, I would say it oxidizes a tad it does or, but not as much as like Maybelline or cover no, foundations no. it's yeah. not um that much so I would pick up a different shade for the summer but LN3 is a really good neutral option if you mm -hmm. have a neutral skin tone like we do. Yeah, and decent shade range. Um, well, I mean, for the drugstore. For the drugstore, yeah. incredible, but they did a pretty good job with undertone. Uh, yeah, and Physician's Formula is a little more expensive, mm -hmm. but all their products are really good, and it was yeah. they are really good. It was an easy one because we both love this so much, Yeah, but overall, they're one of like our go-to brands, I'd say. Oh, I love for their years. stuff. Yeah. Okay, next up is L'Oreal, and this was another easy one, but also like in the same vein, a little difficult because L'Oreal is probably my favorite drugstore. Oh yeah, we've talked too. about this for years. Yeah. I think they're so underrated. Like no one really talks about them. Like people love Wet n Wild, which we do too, but we love L'Oreal yeah. products. They have so many hits for us. Whenever they release something new, we're always so excited to try it. Um, usually we do wait for reviews, but mm -hmm. I don't know. They just, they're always like in the trend realm, like they're releasing trendy products, but they also release your basics mm -hmm. that you need. Really love the brand in general, but this was so easy because so easy. <clears throat> this is our favorite mascara. Mm -hmm. And it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Slash Paradise. I'm sure you've heard of it. I mean, everyone loves this mascara. It's so good. I'm wearing it today. Are you? I'm not because this is too dried out for me. That's my only like negative mm -hmm. is that it dries out so quickly. It does. I mean, both of ours, I don't know if you can tell, but they look so like clumpy so and thick. dry. Um, and it's just annoying because I have really sensitive eyes. So if something's dried out, it'll just irritate my eyes mm -hmm. for 24 hours. Yeah, but it's, it's so black. It's so voluminous paired with this brush, which is just like a little bit of an hourglass shape. It's a nylon bristle brush like a... Uh, but we really prefer them over molded yeah. ones, over like plastic ones. So it's a pretty standard brush. I mean, it looks a lot like Better Than Sex and a lot of other brushes you've seen on the market. But something about the pairing with this formula is so good. So good. And it just, it holds your curl all day mm -hmm. too, I've noticed. It, it doesn't, doesn't flake. flake. <laughs> it doesn't flake. I can even put it in my lower lashes, which is shocking because that never happens. It's so good. It's the best. It's the best mascara, and it is kind of pricey again for the drugstore, mm -hmm. like a lot of L'Oreal products, but still cheaper than high-end mascaras and just as good, if not better. I think so. I mean, I think mascara is the one place that you can go to the drugstore and yeah. get something just as good as high-end. Yeah. So speaking of mascara, our favorite Wet n Wild product. This is Carly's favorite too. Yeah, she just, I just haven't have repurchased recently. What What are you even using on your lower? I just don't put anything on. <laughs> 
Okay, but today I put the L'Oreal at Paradise. That's how lazy I am. I'm just like, oh, I'll just forgo the mascara. It's like $4 at Target. I know, I just for keep forgetting to get it. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. It is the only mascara I will use on my bottom lashes. And I don't even have issues with things like smudging on my bottom I lashes. Do. I think it's because I'm so dry yeah. around my eyes. And you don't use Glossier Stretch. If you no. use that, you know. You know. I don't even set that stuff. And if you put anything besides this mascara or the L'Oreal Lash Paradise underneath, it'll just smudge fest. Like, yeah, and that black. just is not cute. It's mm -hmm. not a good look. Um, but this, my actual, like, favorite thing about it is the wand. Like, again, it's this type of bristle wand. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this formula almost has fibers in it, I, I want to say. Does. Um, but it, you would think, like, this looks clumpy, but it deposits the perfect amount of product. Mm -hmm. I hate when a mascara deposits too much on the lower lash line because we have really long lower lashes, and I don't want it to stick to my concealer. I don't want it to look too heavy down there. Mm -hmm. Like, you just want to add definition to your eyelashes. And this just coats them ever so slightly. One of these tubes lasts me, I know you're only supposed to use mascara for, like, three months, but one of these will last me a while because I only use it on the bottom mm -hmm. lashes, and it doesn't irritate my eyes. It's so good. I know, and it's like four dollars. Yes, it's like four or three dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. And Wet n Wild is another really good we brand. We love a lot of their stuff, mm -hmm. but this was a standout for me because I literally use it every You'll day. You'll see we really like drugstore mascaras. Yeah. It's kind of like our thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next up is e.l.f., which they have a lot of products. So many. So I feel like regardless, you're going to find something you like, mm -hmm. but again, this was such an easy pick for us because we both use this brush every day. Yeah. A little lame to pick a brush as a favorite, but it's like it's our favorite. Holy I have two, so this is my clean brush. One. Yeah, I have two as well. I bought a backup and never opened the backup because this thing oh, is really? like a powerhouse. Yeah. I don't know, for a while I would just like use one to blend bronzer, oh. I would use one to apply like a cream product. Oh, I used this like today for my blush and my bronzer. Oh, okay. It just like makes it all. But it's a large stipple brush from e.l.f. I think again, it's like $4. And for a while we thought they were discontinuing this, but it's so hard to find online, right? I don't know, we're definitely going to find it for you because yeah. it's the best brush. We both use this for bronzer like... I mean, no other brush I use for bronzer, right? Oh, well, I use the JH03 brush, and then I blend it out okay. with this. I do like that, but I've been back to this. I mean, I've gone through other brushes, and then I always come back to this for bronzer. It's just the best. It applies the perfect amount, and because it's a stipple brush, which if you don't know, it um, has, like, duo fibers, so there's long bristles, which are the white ones, and then short bristles, which are the black, and it just creates this, like, diffusion of powder and cream products, so you don't have like a super dense brush that's applying a lot of product. It just applies it like so air-like and effortlessly mm -hmm. and you can just blend it in. It's, it's really good, good um, brush. If you have more pigmented like bronzers or blush that you want to sheer mm -hmm. out, use something like this. Definitely. And they have a small stipple brush too, but I just find it's not as good as of quality. Yeah. And it's not large enough to even qualify for like blush. Mm -hmm. Like I'd rather use something big like this for blush. Like today I just kind of like swirled it in and like swirled it on my cheeks. And again, it just diffuses powder so lovely. I can't even describe it. And it's $4. And it's $4. I will never get over it. And um, shout out to Alana Davidson because she's the one that talked yeah. about this brush nonstop. And she likes expensive stuff and like yeah. makeup, but she loves this brush. And we were actually able to find it at the e.l.f. store and then it mysteriously yeah. closed at yeah. our mall. Yeah, the e.l.f. store closed. If you live in Glendale and know what's <laughs> happening there, let us know. Maybe it's moving because we're like, really? It's closed? We felt like it was always busy. I know, it was so weird. But nonetheless, I think you can get it online. We'll definitely find it for you somewhere because you have to pick up this brush. Okay, next up is Revlon, and this one was pretty easy for us yeah. because we love this product. This is the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow, specifically in the shade 710. Yeah. It's like, I have it on tape, it's all I have on my eyes. Yeah, it's the most beautiful, true, taupey bronze shade, I would say. We'll mm -hmm. insert a swatch so you guys can it's see. It's like a burnt bronze, if that's a good way okay, to describe yeah. it. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful, and these apply. My favorite thing about them is that, well, you apply them with your finger, and you can really shear them out. You can use just a tiny amount of product, tap, 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 mm -hmm. and you're, like, good to go. But you can build it up. You can mm -hmm. use it as, like, a base and put another product over it. I just feel like it's multi-use. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful on its own. It's such an effortless, like, smoky eye. Yeah, they're so good. And I will say I've had... I've purchased more high-end cream shadows lately, like the Armani liquid shadows and even the Tom Ford cream shadow, which I know is like obscenely expensive. 
And honestly, the end look is so similar. Yeah. And this doesn't have glitter particles in it. Uh, I do think it has more glitter really? particles than the Tom Ford one. Okay, but well, not that, not, not no, big glitter they're particles. They're not extremely visible. It still looks like a beautiful, like, kind of, like, wet sheen mm -hmm. on your eye. But you can kind of see them as you get close, but in a pretty way. They're not, like, yeah. huge glitter particles, no. Um, but it's really the end look is so similar if you're on a budget or you just don't want to spend a crazy amount on a high-end cream shadow. I think this is such a good option. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I mean, I'm, I've am i gotten so much pickier with drugstore makeup. You have too. Oh, over yeah. the years. And so we really only keep things from drugstore that we love and we think is comparable to mm -hmm. high-end. And this is definitely one of those products that's just really, really impressive. I use it often. I think it's so pretty. Me too. Even the component is really nice. So it's a I little, like the component it's too. It's a glass jar. Yeah, like mm -hmm. if you were to see this, I would think like RMS Beauty. Like I just know. this. It's a, nice, it's a nice jar. And, yeah. um, this little brush is so useless, but it's such it's a good idea. Like how Marc Jacobs just put that in their powder, and people were like, "That's so innovative!" Like Revlon did it first. Yeah, have that little like slide out, and it really clicks in there. Like it's not going anywhere. No, for travel, it, yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next up is Alme, and this one again was easy, but yeah. I think it's because we don't have a lot of Alme. Mm -hmm. We really want to try those cream shadows everyone's been yeah. talking about. Yeah, the um the like little tube yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. I know. But besides that, uh, this was so easy because we love these lipsticks. Mm -hmm. They're the Alme Lip Vibes lipstick. We have an entire so video cute. swatching all of them and our full review on our channel. So we'll link that down below. Mm -hmm. So we won't go into in detail about the formula, but basically they are so comparable to high end. They're so creamy. They feel, well, there's different finishes. Yeah, but this one's matte. Oh, I both have two mattes here. Yeah, this one is matte too. I'm wearing it right now. It's the shade 210 Never Regret. But it's a comfortable matte. Like, mm -hmm. it feels creamy. It feels light. It's so comfortable. They can be sheared out or brought up in, like, really pigmented, full-on pigment. Just so impressed. Like, watch the video because you'll see our reaction to them. We're just like, these are so good. Yeah. We'll insert swatches, I guess, of these two that mm -hmm. I brought over here because these are two favorites. So, 210, Never Regret Which is, is the one, one I'm wearing. The brown nude. And then 170, Treat Yourself is another really pretty matte. So, we'll insert swatches so you can see them. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend you watch the full swatch video mm -hmm. so you can find a finish that you like and also a shade that you like because there's mm -hmm. a good range. Yeah, but there was some shades that were a little bit patchy, like in the deeper realm. Yeah. So, uh, we starred our favorites in that video so you can see which ones we think like were the most even and really pretty on the lips. Okay, for Essence, for me, it was like so easy. Carly didn't have one for some reason. I just don't, I haven't worn an Essence product in a while and I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, I guess anything. the, I think the only thing I really wear from them is the Pure Nude Highlighter. That's a lie. I also, honorable mention to their um, Silky Soft Touch blushes, mm -hmm. I wear those a lot too, but this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, it's so gross and disgusting because I've had it forever, but I literally use this every day, I want to say. Like, it's the most natural looking, gorgeous nude champagne highlighter. I don't like a metallic highlighter, never have, mm -hmm. probably never will. I mean, okay, on some occasions when I want like a really beautiful, like, wet look blinding highlight, I will use like Becca's Opal. Um, or something of that kind, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I prefer something that just looks like a glow, healthy glow, glow from within, and this gives me that. It's like $4. You can get it at Ulta, you can get it at Target. Um, this has lasted me so long. Like, when did I even buy this? I don't remember. It could have been years, so I should probably just buy a new one, but I think it's so beautiful. It's a good baked formula. Highly recommend. Love it. Next up is Neutrogena, which is kind of a funny one because I feel like Either people forget they have makeup, or <laughs> she did beauty addiction to the lip glosses that everyone loves. Oh, those Hydro that's... Boost lip glosses. Oh, we just don't yeah. wear lip gloss. Yeah, we we do not wear lip gloss. I have tried their tinted chapstick though. I really liked it. Oh. Um, but, but my favorite from Neutrogena isn't makeup, which is disappointing. Britta's favorite that she's gonna talk about, I love as well. But I had to put this in here. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, specifically the SPF 31, and this isn't my daily sunscreen. But whenever I travel and I don't want to bring, like I'm going somewhere where the sun is hot and it's like summertime, and I don't want to bring a separate face and body sunscreen, I bring this because it does not break my face out at all. And it leaves like the thinnest film on your face. It's not heavy. It's not too greasy. There is a tinge of a white cast, but you just blend it in and it's fine. I'm just so impressed with this formula. It really is, like they say, ultra sheer dry touch. Like, I just think it's very sheer. It's not wet and sticky to the touch. It's such a nice formula. It comes in a ton of different, um, like, SPFs. Like, there's mm -hmm. 30, 15. There's, like, 
a 50 in this. I think there's even an 80. It also comes in a spray version. Which um, we should get a higher one because Dr. Dre on her mm -hmm. channel talks about how if you're not going to like really slather on the sunscreen or yeah. reapply it throughout the day to go up like in the SPF oh, that's number smart. so that like you're still getting those benefits at the small amount you're using. Why? Well, like a mm -hmm. small amount of 30 is really like 15. Well, I actually have two of these so I have to I have quite a bit to get through. Uh -huh. I always pick one up every summer like I forget I have it and then I get a new one. But it's such a good sunscreen formula. Highly recommend. And I have like when I ran out of my CeraVe AM lotion, which is my daily sunscreen, I do reach for this and I'm fine to wear it on um, day to day, but I prefer it like for vacations and all over the body. So good, so good. And mine I don't have with me because I haven't repurchased uh, because I need to figure out what shade I am. That's one thing with Neutrogena like foundations. Mm -hmm. I feel like the shades are kind of rough to figure yeah, out and you can't really swatch them. But anyways, it's the Neutrogena uh, Hydro Tint. It's, what is it even considered? It's not considered a foundation. It's considered. They consider a skin tint. Oh, okay, okay, a skin tint. And it's like the most healthy. It's, it's actually beautiful. really similar to the healthy foundation, mm -hmm. but um, less coverage, I mm -hmm. would say. It just gives your skin such a natural glow. I'll insert a photo so you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's so beautiful. And it has this actual same dope foot it like does. applicator, mm -hmm. which is funny. Um, but it's really, really gorgeous. I really want to get another shade for this summer. I think it's a really good summer. Um, complexion product mm -hmm. because it is so sheer and glowy and dewy and, and Neutrogena, all the I don't think they put fragrance in their foundation. Or I don't anything. think so. We have to look. I don't know for The sure, reason but. I um, got rid of it, I believe, was because it has SPF in it and I think those things just expire quicker. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to toss mine and I haven't repurchased it. Me since. too, but I want to repurchase it also. It's, it's really good. Really beautiful. Okay, for CoverGirl, um, there are some good CoverGirl products as well, but this really, really stood are. out to me. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Brow Pencil. I think that's just ultra fine brow pencil. Yeah. I buy the shade 715 Honey Brown. I've gone through probably I have soft brown, five or six of these. I love them, and I do think you go through them quicker for, yeah. for some reason. Like it's uh, a creamy formula, but not too creamy. Really stays put in your brows, blends out beautifully, blends out really nicely. I'll yeah, say that. it has a spoolie on the end. I think it's five dollars from Target, which is why I don't mind going through them so quickly. But I and this was actually I had like this one was unopened because I buy backups just so I never run out. I love this. I think it's such a good brow pencil. Perhaps the best one I've ever used, honestly. Yeah, this one. Um, I do like the M Cosmetics. Yeah, the M one and then the Benefit pencil are my three faves. But would you but say is, like for the price? Like what? Yeah, for the price this is the best. Yeah. Then the brow pencil wasn't mine. It was such a close second so I wanted to talk about it as well. But my favorite CoverGirl product. I do love that. Is the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast Mascara. And we had talked about this before. They actually sent it to us when it first launched. I used it for a couple months. Loved it. And then had so many mascara, so I didn't repurchase. And then I repurchased about a month ago, and I was like, I can never live without this it's mascara. It's really good. So it's a molded one, which usually I don't really like, but I just find that it gives, I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing the L'Oreal, it gives your lashes like, like it's called Flourish, and I feel like it gives them like a fluttery, mm -hmm. soft look. Like this is the softest mascara on your lashes. It just applies such a refined amount like it never applies too much it never looks clumpy it just makes them look soft and separated and very natural and even though I'm all for like bold lashes any day no matter what makeup you're wearing sometimes often like I'll, I won't wear foundation I just wear like concealer and bronzer maybe some brow product and then whenever I put on like a bold lash I just felt like I looked a little like it wasn't even like I looked weird it's just that my makeup felt so like comfortable but then my eyes felt heavy if that makes sense and I wanted something that felt really light and just kind of matched the rest of my makeup. So that's where this comes in. It's now my like go-to daily, Monday through Friday. I love it. I wear Lash Paradise when, like on the weekends or when I just want a bolder lash. But I just love this mascara and I wear it every single day. And I think it's so good. It, it doesn't flake either or mm. smudge, which is shocking. Because this teal color is so pretty. I know, it's so pretty. Um, I used to love the original Lash Blast. I, I was obsessed, but I think this one is a lot better. 
Uh, it's so good. And honestly, CoverGirl to me is like the epitome of drugstore makeup. Yeah. And it, I have a soft spot in my heart. Yeah. For it, it was like our first go-to experience with yeah, makeup. Yeah, did everyone have that like little CoverGirl blue powder compact? That was CoverGirl, What right? about the single CoverGirl shadows that we love? Oh, that's true. Remember we loved that brown one? And the blushes with the tiny cheap yes, brush. and did the blushes. Did you guys use those? Um, and I mean, there's so many things. Yeah, we had like the, the foundation. Remember when they came up with that um, like water foundation that was like no. innovative because it used water <laughs> instead of oil? I mean, just like years and years of using CoverGirl, to me, they're, they just will always be like my favorite favorite just because of like the memories. Yeah. Even though L'Oreal is like my favorite because of the products. Well, like, L'Oreal owns CoverGirl anyway. Yeah, so in my heart, I'm like, oh, CoverGirl. You have my heart. We all want to be easy breezy, beautiful <laughs> cover girl. And fun fact, on those compacts that are like so cheesy now, or like those plastic blue things she's talking about, um, they always said CG, which is my initials yeah. for cover girl, and I always thought it was so cool. I'm like, oh, it has my initials on it. But anyways, love cover girl, love this mascara, love the brow pencil. Next up is NYX, and this was a toss up. Um, for me between two products because I don't use that many NYX products, but mm -hmm. I do want to try their new Bear With Me like um, like tinted. Oh, me thing. too. That looks really nice. But anyways, um, this is the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I've been using this for over a year at least and I love this. I literally ran out of it and I tried to use a different setting spray that I had and I was like, this does not look good. I need, and I ordered it on Amazon and it came the next day because I needed it immediately. And this is like $5 first of all, and it is only two ounces, so it's not like a normal size larger setting spray, but it still lasts me a long time. I spray this on my face after I'm done with my complexion products and then I'll use my beauty sponge and like press it into the skin and then use my fan to dry my face. And it just gives the skin a really nice dewy finish, like makes all the powder look better and more alive and less flat and I just think this is so good and it does have alcohol in it and I know like I should be staying away from alcohol but it is in a setting spray so I feel like there is a barrier between like my makeup and my skin so hopefully the alcohol doesn't really dry out my face and I don't wear makeup every day either but I just think this is really good and my runner up I wanted to mention I did bring it over here but it's the NYX glitter glue I used it today and anytime I'm using like a metallic um, shadow or anything with glitter, I use that, and I love it. I think it's the best primer because, in my opinion, it really holds on to what you put on top of it, but it doesn't feel crunchy or uh, get sticky. It just, it's beautiful. It lasts all day, and it's like three dollars, so those were my two favorites, but the setting spray wins because I literally use it every time I do my makeup. Mine is the NYX Lip Liners, and right now I only have the shade Hot Red. I think I have one, but I didn't bring it Yeah, in the past I've had like a ton of nude shades. I just haven't repurchased recently, but when I was thinking about which NYX products I think are like the best and I've used for years, it's definitely the lip liners, and I don't like the retractables. I like the pencils. Me too. We a are pencil, pencil liner people. Like, mm -hmm. that's just who we are. We think they perform better, they last longer, um, they go on nicer. That's just our opinion. Uh, but yeah, love the wooden pencils and they're so cheap. I mean, I think they're they can be as low as like four or five dollars Oh, for sure. Yeah, um, and they have so many different colors this red color like whenever I have a lip color that I'm like Oh, I need a lip liner to go with it. It's a little more bold, but I don't want to spend a lot of money I'll just go to NYX and pick up a color So when I had um, like a red lipstick that I needed a lip liner for I just picked this up and they are really good they last all day I mean I really can't complain they're just really solid lip liners and I'm impressed by the quality for the price that's mm -hmm. for sure next up is Maybelline and for me um, I just realized I don't have as many Maybelline products in my collection anymore but something that I'll always have in my collection are the Maybelline lipsticks mm -hmm. and I used to really love the matte ones and I still really like those but now as I'm getting older and have more lip lines I just gravitate towards their cream formula this is the shade Spice for me 370 and it came um, I forget what collection this was it was like a it fall was like collection. the all-for-one collection or something okay. it, it meant like it was a collection of colors for all skin tones. yeah which I think that was pretty accurate mm -hmm. and I love that they matched the color of the lipstick to the packaging I'll swatch this for you guys as well but this is a gorgeous gorgeous shade the formula is so comfortable and there is something so comforting about the way these smell mm -hmm. I just feel like this smells like like 
make like I don't know like when, you, like when you first started using makeup and mm -hmm. lipstick like this smell I'm sure that's why they haven't changed it because people mm -hmm. love nostalgia but I think these are really great they're really affordable they come in so many shades so many finishes um, I do like the cream Me finish too. as I mentioned I do still have some of the matte ones but I primarily wear the cream ones and this is my favorite shade currently but if you guys have any shade recommendations please leave them down below because Thinking about it now, I do want to pick up some more of these because I do really enjoy this formula. Okay, last up is ColourPop, and as we mentioned, ColourPop isn't really a drugstore brand, but they are available at Ulta, and hopefully you have an Ulta near you, and they're available online all over the world so anywhere I can order from ColourPop and they often have like free shipping sales or just sales in general so hopefully you've tried the brand this was pretty hard for us because we love a lot of ColourPop products so many I mean they consistently release things that we try and we love we love their powdered eyeshadows um their cream lipsticks their, their brow ultra satin, gels, their brow pencils the super shock highlighters the loose highlighters. We love a lot. We love a lot from this brand, but ultimately we decided to go with the Super Shock Shadows because they are the quintessential mm -hmm. ColourPop product and like you said, there's there's nothing else There's like nothing that. like the formula is so unique. It's like a cushiony cream powder hybrid. Yeah, it's like a cream powder hybrid, but I would say that if you're scared of creams, like it really does act like a powder. Yeah. Like I wouldn't be intimidated by them, but they are just like this bouncy texture that you can apply with your finger, which is my favorite way to apply. Yeah, I'm wearing the shade Amaze on my mm -hmm. eyelids right now, and I, if I, I think I've spoken about this before. I hate glitter in general. Like yeah. I don't like it in products, but for some reason I will wear it proudly in these little guys. I feel like I've ordered a few, and they have glitter in them. Like mm -hmm. this is Amaze, and this is Lightning Bug. We'll insert swatches um, uh, of these in Carly's, but. I really love these because I feel like the glitter isn't, it's obvious, it's obvious there's glitter on my eye, but it really just gives my eyelids like a glossy effect. I feel like it doesn't look too overdone, over the top. It doesn't look overdone, but you can see there's glitter there. Well, you can see there's glitter, but it's not like colorful, it's not like, well, mm -hmm. some of them are, some of them are two-dimensional, but the ones that I buy, I just feel like are like an instant, beautiful, gravitating mm -hmm. eye look, and all you would do, all I did was put a matte brown in my crease, and then I used the glitter primer and packed Amaze on the lid and called it a day. Yeah, and I feel like it looks so nice. They're so easy. Our favorite of all time, which is discontinued, mm -hmm. is Snake Bite. It's so pretty. I was like, mm -hmm. I was going to bring that over here and talk about it because they can't get it, but we talked about it a million times. It's, yeah. I hope they bring it back someday, so if they do, get it. Oh, you still have a lot left. See, mine's like gone. I use it all the time, too. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and then my current favorite is Truth, which is so boring. You're going to see this and think it's like the most boring shade, but it's basically like a light beige, and it's their satin finish, which I prefer because it doesn't have glitter. It just has like a little bit of a sheen to it, um, but this is so pretty. Like Britta said, I just throw it all over my lid, and it, I mean, it's barely darker than my skin tone. It's like the most boring well, shade. Well, I just bought one that literally blends in with my skin, so I basically won't use it. That's another yeah. thing. Sometimes you can't really tell from the swatches online what they're going to look mm -hmm. like. Uh, so sometimes it's a miss, like with that one. I forgot what the name is called, but these are a hit. Yeah, I mean, even truth, I just love the look. It looks so, like, effortlessly but pretty and still defines your eyes. Um, but I will say, like Britta said, I definitely would just read the reviews. I've done that mm -hmm. so many times if I'm unsure of a shade. And people are really honest. Like, they say, oh, I thought this one would have less glitter than it does. Mm -hmm. Or I thought this would be more peachy. Because sometimes the pictures on ColourPop's site are not accurate tone yeah. wise so definitely read the reviews but you cannot go wrong with these they are so we love they're so them. fun they're so good i know i keep wanting to purchase more and mm -hmm. like oh so if you guys have any recs um we have quite a few i feel like i have six mm -hmm. now these two are like more recent ones that i've really been loving still haven't found something i love as much as snake bite I know. if you have a dupe <laughs> and from any brand yeah <laughs> let us know Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Honestly, it was so fun for us to film. We love like looking at, we love drugstore makeup and like going through our collection and finding the best of the best is always a good time. So thank you to Jen at Budiction for making this a thing. Hopefully it's, I would love to watch more of these. Me too. So hopefully other people do more videos like this. And thank you for watching as always.